Hello everybody, Chris here with Game Gumshoes. I am here to present with you um, my top ten list of strategy games. Um, there's one that's not on this list I'm going to throw in there just because I didn't realize it. But I probably should have put the first two together on just one line and called it, you know, you know number one instead of one and two. So, obviously if you're going to play strategy games, you need to play chess. You need to play checkers. Uh, there's a game out there called Six by Fox Mind Games. Uh, it's, you have hexes, and uh, you need to get six of them, either in a line, in a circle around another piece, or in a pyramid. And a uh, very fun strategy game. I got to play it a lot with uh, some nieces and nephews, and it made the game really interesting. Uh, next is a game called Blindside. Take chess checkers make them have a baby, and then give them directional arrows to where they can only move in certain ways, and you've got blindside. Um, very easy to get yourself pigeoned into a hole that you cannot get out of because um, of the way the directional arrows work. Because once someone jumps over, they take one of your arrows, and you're kind of stuck. Uh, go ahead and check out my review on blindside if you need info more, more information on it. Uh, next is a very good strategy game by Twilight Creations, it's called Easter Island. Um, it is kind of interesting to try to find it, but your figurines are the Moai, uh, the, the giant heads on Easter Island, and basically they're on triangle bases, and you're trying to direct sunlight to blow up your opponent's uh, Moai. So, very fun, and be very careful because of how you're allowed to redirect the light. You may accidentally blow yourself up. It's kind of complicated. But uh, I have a written review on it, so go ahead and check that out. Um, next is a game called Commander-in-Chief. It's new this year. It may be a little difficult to get. But um, it is the first chess game I've ever seen, uh, well, chess checkers strategy, that is on, um, we'll call it a diamond-shaped board. Yes, it's your traditional square board, but instead of the pieces being, uh, you know, all the squares being in a line, they're actually going at an angle. So you've got one square here, two square, three square, and up until you get the full diamond on board. Uh, it, ha it is actually a chess checkers and the special commander-in-chief game. I haven't got a chance to review it for you guys yet, so I can't tell you a whole lot about it, but in it you're using military vehicles trying to uh, capture you know the flag, basically. Um, next, is a Viking board game. Um, it is called Neftafel. I know it looks like it's spelled really weird because it starts with an H, but it, it's a Viking King's Chess, and um, it comes where you're basically being attacked to the center. Uh, it's very, um, we'll say it's very difficult to get. Um, I got mine at a rain fair, but there are plenty of examples of it online, so if you're somewhat creative and want to make your own, go for it. Um, because it's a public domain game and no one can really stop you from trying to make your own. Uh, speaking of public domain games, uh, another, another one is a game called Go. Now, it was made very heavily in the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, it is a Chinese kind of chess game. Um, and it, it, you're kind of capturing pieces, from what I can tell. Um, but it's definitely high-end strategy. I know some really intelligent people who play it just because it's more complicated than chess or checkers or anything of that nature that they're used to playing. Um, my next game is a game that I grew up learning uh, strategy with, and it is called Stratego. Uh, basically, it's capture the flag. Um, there is a lot of strategy involved, uh, but I do have to admit, once... Uh, your opponent has kind of figured out where your flag is, uh, then it becomes a, a, a very uh, hurry up and, and win now before you get captured kind of thing. Because uh, all they got to do is take your flag. They don't have to, you know, wipe out your entire army. All they got to do is capture that flag. Uh, lastly is a tile game. That's uh, another Chinese game. It's called Meishong. Now everybody's familiar with the you know, tile game that they see on the internet, and, you know, it's come on various computers. Uh, but the thing is, it is actually a gambling game in China, 
and um, my images will show you a, uh, a version that's the actual full tile set with all the bedding chips and all that other thing. Um, it's much more complicated than the internet or any of the video games that you can play online make it seem. So give it a look-see and a quick rundown of all ten games again. It is Chess, Checkers, Six by Foxmind Games, Blindside by Tallycore, Easter Island by Twilight Creation, Commander-in-Chief by Commander-in-Chief, uh, Nephitophel, it's a public domain game, uh, Go, public domain game, but there are several different companies that released copies of it, Stratego, it's by Hasbro, and Mahjong, which is another public domain game, but uh, if you go to uh, the flea market and stuff like that, you should be able to find a really nice set. Uh, anyhow, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video.